protocol is one of your um, creations. Can you tell us a little bit about about that? And um, well, Rimini Protocol is the name of the label I founded together with Helga Tag and okay. Daniel Betzel, and we're in, based in Berlin. From a theater angle, um, we try to reframe society and issues that we find interesting and important. Um, my background is a journalist actually in the very beginning and then a bit of visual arts, uh, but I was always a bit unsatisfied with uh, my job as a journalist when I had to in very short time write facts and publish them as if it were the truth. So I tried to develop together with my peers um, more maybe sustainable and interactive formats of knowledge transfer uh, wh where people would would kind of on a, on a bit longer and direct way be immersed into a situation where they they, they, they they would experience something that then often stays with you longer often physically what we just rehearsed yesterday is a piece about uh, it's called Société en Chantier, uh, Society Under Construction, um, and it's about why huge uh, development projects um, often get stuck halfway through, they, they, they run over costs, they are not very um, ecological often, uh, we're running out of sand, we need to rethink how we construct cities um, and how, how we design them and how Maybe we can learn, that's one of the experts that is in this piece saying, he's working with insects, how can we learn from ants who are building many times their, the height of their own body, um, but in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that uh, keeps organic. How did, um, cause she, how did, did she did the invitations, here. yeah. yeah I'm curious to, okay. <laughs> to hear, but uh, we've done a number of, of projects that tackle issues of, of, of ecology. I guess yeah. that's how she got there. We staged, uh, w w actually the year before the Paris summit happened, we staged a World Climate Conference in the Hamburger Schauspielhaus where 600 people, every time it happened, would slip into the role of uh, one of the 196 delegations that the United Nations bring together every year towards the end of the year to kind of tackle the two degree or 1.5 degree uh, maximum uh, threshold um, in terms of global warming. And uh, we just at the moment are showing a piece in London in the Royal Academy of the Arts, which we created a year ago where it's about what happens if we won't manage to stop that development. And it's a piece where the protagonists are not humans, but jellyfish, because they will survive. They're the ones that are surviving, <laughs> yes. They're already uh, proliferating massively. Exactly. So this is true. In your experience in the theater, how can, how can we as an organization bring this forth and sort of let it resonate into society um, further than just publishing a book, which we obviously are going to do. And mm -hmm. what is your experience in the theater? How, um, is there a follow-up uh, once you do a, a, a play? Is there, is there something that makes it resonate in society further? Something that I'm very interested in the moment is how such conferences um, that often bring people from far in, even fly them in from far mm -hmm. to then talk about sustainability, how this kind of interaction could change because it's a problematic that we artists sometimes have but uh, also scientists do regularly have these conferences are important they're bringing people they're making ideas go beyond borders um, and as economy does so anyway we we cannot kind of stay behind and say we will just think locally but on in exchange sh does that mean do we need to accelerate uh, traveling more and more and um, a project that at the moment we're just about starting to develop um, that is how could a conference happen without anybody needing to travel and I not using slow latency uh, video conferencing mm -hmm. not having people through media kind of uh, looking at screens but um, and that's the maybe uh, potential of theater or of live art 
uh, to find ways how, how in a more physical way people could be present without being there. Um, so now I'm really yeah. curious <laughs> yeah. how you're going to solve this, because of course this is so on, on everybody's mind here. Is that you know? So our question, in a way, or, the, or our initial idea for this, which was just starting to develop, and I'm I'm looking forward to get input here yeah. from other people, is um, is is a way where you would be representing maybe somebody that is in Canada, um, you'd be instructed to do certain things, very substituting very this yeah. person. Mm -hmm. So you would be somebody that is, a, I don't know, a neighbor here or yeah. lives in the chalet there. And we could have a conversation which is instructed, scripted in a certain way and leave still enough space that it can be I a love this a kind of thinking. An interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these conference it's could happen again and again, but always with different people. Yeah. So it's going to be a performance. That's the idea where everybody taking part in it kind of as it goes on. And you're seeing this as an unscripted thing. So the, Im will the input from the, from the sort of surrogate um, expert um, can change and, can, and, and can, can influence the... It will be quite scripted, yeah. um, but not only scripted, it, it audio triggered or visually triggered or with objects that again wouldn't be brought here by shipping or by flying but rather are found here so there's a for the local producers there is a whole in in the theater world we call this technical rider the mm -hmm. kind of thing that needs to be prepared before and then the instructions would tell you how, how, how can you impersonate the scientist from australia that will not come and understand his thought by going a num through a number of instructions that he has created together with us. Sounds super intriguing, really, really fascinating. So this is something that's in the making already, or this is just you're still in the, in the yeah we we we're thought process. We're, we're in the thought pro mm. process. It, it will uh, start to happen from May 2021 on, mm -hmm. that we know. But uh, yeah, how it's still going to. I think we would love to be involved in that, in that, and see how, um, and maybe be able to be one of the one of the places where this oh can be sure. tested out. And uh, it's true, it could be could yeah. be working nicely here. Yeah.